Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a shuriken. So you're going to need two pieces of paper. They both have to be square, so in case you don't know how to make a square out of a rectangle piece of paper, I'm going to show you now. You're going to fold a triangle out of the rectangle, so I'm going to do that right now. Mm. And then after you do that, you're going to fold this part so it'll be easier to tear off. Or if you want to just cut it with scissors, you definitely can. And then after that, you're going to tear or cut this piece up. So I'm going to do that now. So I cut it out. Now let's get back to making the shuriken. So you... You got your two pieces of square paper. So remember you need square paper for this craft because if you do it out of rectangle paper, it won't fly as far or it won't come out good. So let's get into making the shuriken. So you're gonna take one of the square pieces of paper and then you're gonna fold it in like this. So it looks like a hot dog bun. Then you're gonna open it and you're gonna fold the flaps inward like this, you see? And then after that, you're gonna fold that in like this. Now I'm gonna do this to this piece of paper. So I did the two pieces of paper. Now we're gonna take one and you're gonna just fold it in like this and you're gonna have to do it for both at the same time so you won't get confused because we're gonna be doing a really confusing part so most people when they're making a shuriken this is what confused them um, the most so in this we're gonna fold the left one down like this and then the right one we're gonna fold it up so like this, you turn it around, this is left and this is right, okay? Now you're gonna keep it down. Now you're gonna take this one and now you're gonna fold the right side down. So let me do that. And then you're gonna fold the left side up. So if you look at it, it's the opposite sides. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna make, you're gonna like fold it in. So it makes a triangle at top. So basically like this, you're gonna do that to all the sides, all the squares. So like this, should be looking like this. Now you have to do the same thing to the other side. So these, and triangle things we're making is it's for the when you make the shuriken to connect them it's to connect them properly so they won't go loose after you do that after you make the triangle you just fold them in so they get a little flexible so i'm gonna fold mine in really quickly just crease them a little make them foldable and flexible So like that. Now you got two weird shapes. Now you're gonna keep this one. So if you see on the flat side, there's no line. So on the flat side, you're gonna keep the part with the line on the top. So like this. Now you're gonna, now this is the trickiest part. You're gonna take this triangle and put it through this hole. So like that. Now you're going to take this triangle and put it through this, this flap. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And you're going to do that with all the sides until they look like a star. So in the back, I'm going to just take this triangle and put it through one of the flaps. And then also take this triangle and put it through another flap. So like that. 
and now you got your ninja star all ready now this flies really far so if you have a brother or a sibling you want to like do an april fool's prank you can just throw this at them and say that there's a ninja in our house they'll get easily fooled if they're like younger so yeah this is how you make a shuriken and it flies really far thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you if you didn't watch already watch my other origami video where i make a plane a house and a swan the link will be in the description below bye guys